Water decontamination system at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has been operating below capacity. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, was planning to reduce the contaminated water to a safe level by early August. But now it says that could be delayed for about two months. TEPCO started the operation in late June. The system is designed to remove radioactive substances from water that has pooled in the basement of the reactor buildings. The treated water is then poured back into the reactors to act as coolant. The company says it had been functioning at 63% capacity from June 17th until Tuesday, even though the aim was 70%. The problem is mainly attributed to the system working about 30% below capacity. It has also stopped repeatedly due to various other troubles. But TEPCO says the problems have been solved and it will try to increase capacity going forward. The Japanese government is expanding its suspension of cattle shipments because of concerns about animals that have eaten feed contaminated by radiation. Farmers in Fukushima Prefecture have already been told they can't send their cows to market. Now, Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio Edano says nearby Miyagi Prefecture will face the same restriction. The government has ordered the suspension of all cattle shipments from Miyagi Prefecture. Miyagi has shipped 1,031 head of cattle believed to have been fed rice straw tainted with radioactive cesium. Six cows had radiation levels as high as 1,150 becquerels per kilogram. That's more than twice the safety standard. A government task force on the accident at Fukushima Daiichi says the contaminated beef came from three municipalities in the prefecture and not just a limited area. Miyagi Prefecture had shipped about 33,000 head of cattle per year before the March 11th disaster. The Miyagi branch of the Net Japan Agriculture Cooperative started voluntarily suspending its shipments on July 19th. It accounts for about 45 percent of the prefecture's cattle shipments. Radioactive cesium exceeding the safety level has also been detected in beef from five cows shipped from Iwate Prefecture, north of Miyagi. The government will likely suspend cattle shipments from that part of Japan next week. At least a dozen Japanese prefectures have decided to check all beef they produce following the detection of contaminated feed. Twelve out of 47 prefectures have voluntarily stepped up radiation checks on beef before shipping in a bid to alleviate consumer concerns over meat safety. About 3,000 beef cattle are suspected of having been shipped after being fed rice straw contaminated with radioactive cesium from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. In Yamagata Prefecture, northwest of the plant, testing equipment has been brought in to measure radiation levels of meat from slaughtered cattle. The beef is shipped only when radiation levels are confirmed to be lower than the government safety st standard. The central government says it may cover the cost of testing. We're putting safety first. That's why we're considering shouldering the cost. The operator of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant uh, says it is withdrawing from Japan's bid to export nuclear power technology to Turkey. Turkey plans to build four nuclear reactors on the Black Sea coast. Electronic maker Toshiba, backed by the Japanese government, is seeking construction rights. Tokyo Electric Power Company had earlier planned to provide technical help on the project, but it now says it will focus on compensating victims of the Fukushima nuclear accident, including those forced to evacuate. However, a consortium, including the Japanese government and TEPCO, appears likely to receive an order to build nuclear reactors in Vietnam. Senior TEPCO official Juichi Matsumoto told reporters, that the utility will continue playing a part in the national project of exporting a nuclear power plant to Vietnam. August 9th marks the 66th anniversary of the U.S. atomic bombing of Nagasaki. Amid the ongoing nuclear crisis in Fukushima, the mayor of Nagasaki will for the, for the first time call for a shift away from nuclear energy in his annual peace declaration. Nagasaki Mayor Tomihisa Tawe told reporters on Thursday that the people of his city do not want to see any more hibakusha, as the victims of atomic bombings of Nagasaki and Hiroshima are known. I will call for a move towards safer, renewable energy sources this year, no matter how long it might take to achieve that shift.
Nagasaki will convey the message of no more Hibaksha. The mayor has read out the peace declaration at the August 9th ceremony every year since 1948, three years after the bombing. The annual declaration has always focused on the abolition of nuclear weapons. This year's appeal for an end to nuclear power generation will be the first of its kind at a Nagasaki peace ceremony. Participants at a UN disarmament conference in Matsumoto City, central Japan, have divided the safety of nuclear power generation amid the ongoing crisis in Fukushima. On the second day of the conference on Thursday, a representative from Japan's Atomic Energy Commission, which controls nuclear policy, outlined the ongoing challenges at the Fukushima plant, including the decontamination of radioactive water. The coexistence of people and nuclear power is being called into question. Without safe energy, we cannot control nuclear weapons. Matsumoto Mayor Akira Sugenoya, who worked as a doctor in Chernobyl, said cases of various diseases are still reported from the area 25 years after the accident. It's time to stop and reconsider the future of nuclear energy policy on a worldwide scale. But some participants oppose a quick shift from nuclear power when alternative energy sources are not fully developed. A South Korean official who attended the session said the Fukushima accident should raise concerns about a possible terrorist attacks on a nuclear power plant.